this room have heard of the Ohio Benefits Bank? Uh, it's a better audience than most. <laughs> I have been to so many counties with two hands, one hand, no hand. This is one of the best inventions Ohio ever made. I am such a big fan of this program, and I have been just totally amazed at how few know about it. So I am determined to get the word out about this valuable resource, and it's starting right here with Brent, who is, Brent Sigley is the program manager for the Ohio Benefit Bank. I will be calling him to get ways to publicize this more because this is something that saves us so much money, and if you aren't using it, you are leaving even more money than the Veterans Justice Outreach Program on the table. And so I'm hoping he'll share some dollars and figures and what those programs are, and uh, the Foundation and I and the Stepping Up Program are really committed to making sure a lot more people get educated in Ohio because we in Ohio invented this program. Good morning. Um, my name is Brent Sigley, uh, the Senior Program Manager for the Ohio Association of Food Banks. Um, thank you, Evelyn, for the introduction. Um, and I know that many of you are familiar with the Ohio Benefit Bank, so for those of you that are not familiar, uh, I hope that this will be informational for you, but those of you that are familiar with it, please bear with me as some of this may be a little bit redundant, but with that said, I work for the Ohio Association of Food Banks. How many of you have, have, have heard of the Mid-Ohio Food Bank? Excellent. So the Mid-Ohio Food Bank is one of our 12 Feeding America food banks that we help to manage and maintain across the state of Ohio. So our whole goal is to try to fight and eliminate hunger within the state of Ohio. That is our whole goal. That is our whole mission, okay? So with that said, um, how many of you have ever known someone that has been in situational poverty? Just raise your hand. The majority of us. I'm quite sure all of us at some point in time have run into a neighbor, a friend, somebody. And I heard a, a, a commercial this morning that I, that I thought was rather fitting, and it was from Feeding America. And the commercial started out by saying that I am the person that has the office sitting right next to yours, that I am the person that has the children going to the same school that your children go to. I'm the same person that shops at the same grocery store as you do. I'm the person that's living right next door to you. I am your neighbor, but I am also food insecure. And I think the, the statistics said that one in six Americans across this great nation are food insecure. Even more, one in four children within our great state are food insecure. So the reality is, is that hunger is very much a problem within our country. And what we're trying to do is advocate, and we are trying to make sure that people are realizing that hunger is a real problem. With that said, our great executive director, Lisa Hammer Fugit, had approached the idea of the Benefit Bank and had heard about it uh, back in 2005, 2006, and thought that the Benefit Bank would be appropriate to have under the, underneath the umbrella of the Ohio Association of Food Banks. And since then, we have been able to get back over $1.5 billion in government work support programs and tax credits across this state. We've been able to get back over $1.5 billion dollars in government work support programs and tax credits back into this state, all through the Ohio Benefit Bank, by helping individuals to get access to benefits that they're eligible for, such as food assistance, medical assistance, uh, child care subsidy, HEAP. We can also help with free tax assistance, uh, FAFSA. Uh, with that, we are trying to make sure that individuals are aware of these programs that they're eligible for. Too often times, people get, do not receive benefits that they're eligible for based on a number of reasons, due to transportation, a lack of knowledge, maybe it may be language barriers, especially here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, it could be that you don't have the time to take off work. Some of us don't have the uh, 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 time to take off, whether it be a half a day or a full day, to go down to a community action agency or go down to the agency administering certain benefits. So with that, the Ohio Benefit Bank has partnered with organizations all across the state from hospitals, universities, school districts, um, libraries, nonprofits, social service organizations, and we're trying to make sure that people are getting connected with these services. For example, our partnership with The Ohio State University, we have their social work program that's connected with us to where they have undergraduate students and graduate social work students that are mandated to go through our training, that then receive our training, and then go out into their internships and help people with accessing 
accessing the benefit bank. Uh, we have great organizations such as the Lutheran Social Services here in Columbus, Ohio, that do such great advocacy and great work with getting and providing tax services and tax programs. Um, but one of my favorite benefits on the benefit bank is the Medicare Savings Program um, and helping individuals and senior citizens with their uh, Medicare costs. And a lot of you are probably familiar with senior citizens that may be on a fixed budget or on a fixed income. And I'm originally from Canton, Ohio. And how many of you are familiar with Canton, Ohio? What are we famous for? Pro Football Hall of Fame. So with that said, um, I love Canton, Ohio very much, but it's very, very much economically depressed, and it's a manufacturing town that went under, um, that has a lot of service industries, but not a whole lot of jobs when it comes to keeping individuals there and keeping them above float. And with that, um, I was an Ohio Benefit Bank counselor as an AmeriCorps member back in 2008 and 2009. And shout out to AmeriCorps, they reached their one millionth member. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with AmeriCorps, AmeriCorps is the domesticated version of the Peace Corps and do a lot of great work across this great country. Um, but with that said, I realized the need for the Benefit Bank as the majority of people that I helped out in Canton, Ohio, uh, were not people that were living in generational poverty, but they were people that were, lived, that were uh, victims of situational poverty. These were individuals that had never heard of a job in family services before. These were individuals that were in middle class or upper middle class their entire lives. But due to a job loss or due to a divorce, and as many of you are aware, uh, marriages in America don't last long. One in, two, one in two marriages end in divorce. So can you imagine what that would cause on an individual where you have one spouse that works all the time and you have a stay-at-home spouse? So what would that do to that person that has not worked for over 10 years? And then you give them now two or three kids that they have to deal with. So we are trying to make sure that we are reaching out to everyone and making everyone aware of what is out there and what is available. Um, and with the Medicare Savings Program, I can't tell you how many times I've heard of senior citizens that told me that they choose between the basic necessity of life, which is food, and or their medication each month. That is a sad reality for many Americans across our country. That is a reality for our grandparents, for our uncles, for our nieces. This is a reality that is unfortunately um, crushing our, our, our society when it comes to people truly not getting access to these benefits. So what the Ohio Benefit Bank is trying to do is to make people more aware and breaking down these barriers. Now I want to make sure that I am keeping on time because I know that I was running late. I know that you guys were going through a speed dating session here with all these speakers. Um, so I'm going to try to be uh, finished up here within the next couple of minutes. But if you are interested in learning more or hearing more about what we have to offer at the Ohio Association of Food Banks and more about the Ohio Benefit Bank, Please take one of my business cards back at the table. I believe I have one of the only business cards that are at that table, surprisingly enough. Um, so it'll be pretty easy to find, along with my colleagues, Martin Terry's business card. You can feel free to contact one of us. Um, know that I am in charge of the entire state of Ohio. So with that, I am often on the road. So please don't get mad at me if you call me and I don't answer. I will get back with you within 24 hours. Um, but I am very much appreciative of Evelyn and for Dustin for affording me this opportunity to come and speak to all of you um, and also um, I am having what is called a community engagement meeting October 20th here in Columbus Ohio at the Star House uh, between 1 and 4 p.m. Um, those of you that are familiar with the Star House they recently remodeled and and they have a great new facility um, and we're hosting a community engagement meeting and inviting community partners such as yourselves and others that may be interested in knowing more about the benefit bank uh, more about uh, the Ohio Association of Food Banks. We have individuals from the Ohio Department of Youth Services and Job and Family Services that will be coming to speak at this event as guest speakers. So if you're interested, please email me or call me. I would love to have you there just so that I can add you to our list. And again, thank you so much for affording me this time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. For an individual who may be homebound, yes. they want to try to find out what type of services they're eligible for. Can somebody go to a benefit bank on their behalf, or does it have to be the actual? So that's a great question. So any, any individual can visit www.ohiobenefits.org. 
And from there, they would be able to do a quick check, which would allow them to see what they may be eligible for in a matter of minutes by inputting household income, household size, and how many individuals are living in that household. And then from there, they could then apply by themselves if they're comfortable enough uh, to do uh, their benefits by themselves. Also, I do want to put out, since tax season is right around the corner, we do help with free taxes. Um, taxes for individuals that are single, you can make up to 65000 and file your federal, state, and local taxes for free. And if you're married, you can make up to 95000 and we can still help you file your federal, state, and local taxes for free. I had a young woman from Astrobula that told me she made $5,000, had one W-2, and got charged $500 from Liberty Tax Services to get her taxes done. That's the last thing that we want, is for individuals that are in low income, that are in poverty, impoverished situations, to have to pay that much for tax services. So please get the word out. Please take one of my business cards. I'd love to talk with you more in depth. Um, if you have any more questions, I'd love to be able to answer them after that, since I know that my time is up. But thank you again, and have a great day. They also now have this program available at every state law library, every library. So you can access it through the libraries as well. You don't have to have a trained uh, benefit site. Uh, but it's a simple computer program. You enter data, it tells you all the programs you are eligible for, helps apply for those programs. And also those who are low income, not only do they provide tax services, those who have families get money back, earned income credit, but you have to file a tax return. And most of the time the people that are entitled to earn income benefit don't file tax returns. The Legal Aid Society also offers tax uh, tax preparation for people who qualify for the earned income benefit. So the Legal Aid Society is one of their services as well.